right, you guys asked for it, so here it is, another round by the best spy in the world. Arlix here playing on King of the Hill Lakeside and using a setup I've never used before. This is literally my third game of the kunai ever, and using the Dead Ringer, I figured it would be a good setup with this knife. Running out here, doing my spy thing, and generally avoiding all enemy contact, I decide to run through the midpoint. It's okay, I whip out my Dead Ringer, nothing can kill me now. I got my sights on that sniper, I know he saw me, so I whip out my disguise kit, switch to Pyro, so he is none the wiser. I decide to slowly sneak up on the sniper disguised as a pyro, he is none the wiser, get a huge play on him, see the other sniper a low health, quickly dispatch with my lightning fast move, see the other sniper in a distance, whip up my ambassador and get the most skilled shots ever, two in a row right there, dispatch them instantly, S disguised as a pyro, see a medic, call him over, hey medic I need some heals, too bad he doesn't know I'm actually a spy, running out to mid to lure the medic over, I know there are enemies there, I'm about to go huge and win the point back for our team, I see a friendly soldier and pretend to back off since the medic is convinced I'm his ally, go back to mid and get a massive kill on the medic, their team is already screwed and it was all me, no assistance whatsoever, I basically allow the team to capture our point back. This pyro sees me too bad, I have a dead ringer and he just keeps running forward, didn't even stop to pursue me, I allow my team to play the game a little bit and get the kill on that pyro while I take a break from being amazing. Thanks to the kunai, I survive the flames and continue my streak of pwnage, running back onto the sniper deck to see another spy trying to capture a little bit of my glory. I back off for a second to see if I'm needed elsewhere and decide to turn back to the spawn. I see this pyro and go into pursuit thinking it's a spy only to intercept both the pyros engaged in a massive battle of fire. I save my teammate with an amazing shot, too bad my dead ringer was afraid of the fire and that pyro was too bad to realize he could have saved me so he just let me burn to death. What an ungrateful sod. Skipping the respawn time because obviously nothing amazing happened while I was dead, I decided to take the teleporter to the middle, no one even noticed this, I jump down and see the medic heavy combo and get ready for an amazing chain stab. First on the medic, then on the heavy, then on the soldier, saving my entire team and saving the engineer's stuff as well, defending the control point. After that amazing feat, I run up here, see the soldier, rapid fire my ambassador, finishing him off like a boss, he couldn't even save his ass, I managed to save that other spy. Run over here and see this hoopla going on, the soldier killing himself, I get lit up and run to the health pack, too bad the game thought I was too good and didn't give me a health pack, but it seems that Pyro had the same idea and caught me off guard as I tried to heal myself and got a very lucky kill on me. Again, skipping the respawn time because I know you came here to see me, the best spy on YouTube. Again, taking the teleporter to see a deserted battlefield. It seems the enemy team has become so afraid of my kunai and everyone just quit playing. Everyone except that foolish heavy that is, running up to him, he had no idea what was coming to him, quickly getting a kill on him, getting a huge play for my team, that heavy would have spelled disaster for us. Seeing this battle right here, too bad I couldn't save that pyro in time, still getting the kill on that sniper. See this soldier causing mischief for my team, I take action, jump down, whip at the ambassador, causing the soldier to literally explode from fear, they didn't even need to do anything. This pyro was so fooled by my disguise, he literally ran past his twin on the battlefield, I get a quick 180 stab, that is a move that I invented, don't be fooled by imposters on YouTube calling it the side stab and flick stab, they don't know what they're doing, just like this sniper, he actually tried to fight me, I get a quick kill on him, I'm pretty sure he punched his computer right there. It's a shame I can't be in two places at once, I let this heavy advance to mid, he already destroyed everything, good thing I caught him in time to get another massive play on him. This is another stab that I invented, it's called the rage quit stab, you must time it perfectly down to the millisecond to achieve it, if you pull it off right the other person literally commits suicide. I jump down in time to stop the demon man from going big on point, whip out the gun and again get the most skilled shots just as the game ends, I top score by a landslide. Literally the entire team by this point has quit TF2 and went back to My Little Pony. Friendship is magic, where no one makes them cry as much. This has been another episode of the best TF2 player on YouTube. My name is Arlix, make sure to subscribe for more and follow me on Twitter for more epicness all day long. I will see you people later with more videos. Peace out.